Hi and welcome back. So now we are heading towards scrapping IMDb website and from that website we will try to scrap top 250 movies along with some other information available on the page. So let's just go on the Chrome and search IMDb top movies. Click the first link. So this is the link to the top 250 movies of IMDb and now what we will do is we will Firstly, we will try to hit this URL using the request module and after getting the HTML as a response, we will try to parse that using the beautiful soup and we will try to extract the name of the movies and the year. So going back to the IDE over here, the first thing is we need to import the request and then request.get and in this method we have to pass this URL and now let's just check that whether we are getting the response properly or not as I explained you earlier that whenever you are trying to scrap any website whenever you're trying to extract data from any website it is crucial to check that whether you are getting the data or not so the first thing to do is always check the status code that whether it is 200 or not so if it is 200 then that means that the connection is successful and we can successfully communicate with the server but if we are getting some other status code which we will see in the future videos that if we are, uh, came across 400 or 302 then how we can gather that but right now let's just check the status code here and Yeah, perfect. I'm getting the 200 response, which means I can, uh, I can successfully communicate with this website and I can extract data from there. Okay. Now, as we did earlier, that HTML equals to r.text. Okay. Now it will provide us with the text that is uh, that this response is providing us the HTML text that this response is providing us and then we will need to import the beautiful soup from BS4 import beautiful soup now in this constructor in this function we will try to hit this HTML and try to parse this and then as it is HTML parser we just need to mention HTML dot parser and then let's just save it in a soup so now here you have the uh, you have to develop the understanding of how you can uh, extract data from the html the source code is there right but looking in here is kind of a hectic job right so this data is not uh, properly formatted and reading or finding out some information from here is quite difficult so what we can do instead is we can just simply hover over this and click inspect now you just have to uh, develop the habit or for data scrapping that you have to understand the structure of the website so if i just zoom this out a bit So here you can see that this is a complete table row. The, the thing I'm selecting here is being highlighted here. So this is the table row. Let me just close this. So actually this is the table row. This is next table row. This is next table row. So what we have to do is uh, we will try to access these table rows first. And after getting the access of each table row, we will try to get access to this table data, which contains this class title column because in this table data, we have a anchor tag and inside that anchor tag we have the name so the the structure is that there is a table body this table body has several table rows and for each table row we need to get into this table data the second table data and then we need to extract this anchor tags text so what we can do over here is So we can just simply go for soup dot find and the first thing I want to find is I want to get to this table body. Let me just close this because this table body actually contains this 
complete data so first thing i have to go to this table body so this thing what i have to do is as i mentioned earlier let me just open this for you over here that if we have to get to the span that has this particular properties so this is the syntax for doing that find all means that i want to get all the spans and find will only select the first one as there is only one table body so we just need to do the find here find and here you just need to put the name of the tag t body and then comma and then what i am expecting is i am expecting a class and listed list so i want to look for the class attribute with the value listed list so the what this will do it will actually provide me the uh, the selector the soup for this table body let me just name it in a variable table body equals to this thing perfect so up till here what we have done so far is i created the soup from this uh, html that i am getting from this url and after creating the soup i am saying that i want to find a table body in that soup that has these particular classes so this is actually it will refer to this thing so now if we have give it a go uh, actually it is actually meaningless right now for giving it a go because it would be a hack of html and it will be difficult for us to understand this but uh, let's just let's just give it a go and see how we, what we get now if we hit enter okay it was imdb sorry yeah perfect so this is actually see this is the closing table body tag and if we go on the top hopefully there will be a starting table body tag uh, actually i think they missed it uh, the terminal miss that but hopefully uh, this table body is actually providing us with this table body data this one if i close this this complete now after getting this what i have to do is i have to get access to all of the table rows first so i can do table body and then i can go for find all because if i go for find it will only provide me with the first table row but right now i want to get to all of the table rows so i will pass this row as there is no particular class associated with that so we can just simply go for the table rows so table rows here trs i am putting trs to just specify table rows that they are in plural and then after getting the table rows what we can do is we can just simply iterate on it we can say for table row in table rows so for each iteration it will provide me this uh, for each iteration it will provide me each table row so for the first iteration it will give me this table row then it will give me this table row then it will give me this and so and so forth so now if i just simply print the let's say tr and then after printing getting to the tr what i need to do is when i get this tr i need to get to this td with this particular class so what i can do i can say tr dot find and what i want to find so uh, the one thing to uh, remember here is to notice here is that this find is only uh, is only searching in its attached soup so if i search if i have this soup of complete html and then i do find it will search in this complete body it will search in this complete soup now after getting the table body as i search for this one now if i am applying anything if i am uh, finding anything it is only limited to this table body it is only limited to that soup now after getting this i am getting the table rows and then uh, from the table rows i am extracting table row for each iteration so whenever i whatever i am finding here is only limited to this section this table row from here to here for each iteration so now if i go for find and what i have to find is i have to find for a table data 
and see there are number of table data this, this is a table data if i just simply go for table data it will provide me with all of these table data right and right now i'm going for find only so it will only provide me the first one but i want the table data with this class title column so what i can do i can exactly replicate the same thing which i which i did earlier that i provide the tag and then i associate a attribute with it so i am providing the table data tag within this table row and then i am asking it to get to the class with this title column right so now it will access it will provide me access to this thing and after getting this success as i uh, showed you earlier that after getting access to anything you can just simply go for dot and it will provide you its attribute so if i just go for this one and let me just save this here because it's now a table data let's just cut it from this and table data and this one and now if i go for table data now i am referring to this one only this and if i go for table data dot a so this means i am referring to this table data as a and then if i just simply print this table data dot a and then this string so now if I give it a go, I mentioned this earlier that this string is responsible for extracting the text out of the tag. So now if I give it a go, perfect, I'm getting the name of the movies. See? Yeah, I'm getting the name of the movies, perfect. Now, what we have to do is we also have to figure out the year of the movie as well. So again, we are referring to this same table data because we get to this table data using this statement. And now what we will do is we will go for table data dot. We have to refer to this span. Right now, we do not need to specify the class because there is only one span available in here. So if I'm referring to td.span, it is only referred to this one because I have narrowed down my soup only to this table data in this statement. So this statement narrowed down my soup to only this table data. And now if I'm referring to td.a, I'm referring to this one. And if I'm referring dot from td.span, I'm referring to this one. Now, if I go for td.span and from the span, uh i want the text again so i will go for the string now if i give it a go perfect i'm getting the name of the movie plus i'm getting the year so let me just again give you a quick recap because uh, this stuff for some of you could be tricky uh, what I'm doing right now is that this statement, uh, okay, let's start from the start. So this statement is responsible for hitting on this URL and providing you with this complete HTML. So here I got this RES and then from this RES, I'm extracting the HTML and saving it in the HTML variable. After that, this, uh, this is the first step. The next step is I'm creating a soup out of it. So you, or you can say I'm creating a parsing tree out of it. So here. I am passing this HTML, which is the HTML as a string, and then I'm passing it the parser name, HTML.parser. What it will do, this will provide me a soup of this complete tree, this complete HTML, right? Then what I'm doing is I'm extracting the table body, this one. So what I'm saying, I'm referring to this soup. Then I'm saying that find the table body with that particular class. So what it will do, it will provide me with a table body, which is this one. So now my soup is actually equal to this thing, right? Now table, uh, further I'm referring to table body. So my soup is actually narrowed down to table body and the table body is responsible for accessing anything between this table body. So now let's say if there is another uh, div here, right? And there is a div present in this table body as well, this div and this, there is a div inside there. So now if I go for t body dot div, I will, it will only consider the divs that are present inside this t body. It will not consider this div. So now after coming inside this, what I'm doing is I figured it out that the table rows are the stuff that contains the actual data. 
now what i did i just extracted the table rows out of it i hit on table t body and then i go for find all so as i mentioned earlier that find is responsible for giving you only the first occurrence and the find all is responsible for providing you all the occurrences of this particular tag now i just ask the table body to provide me with all the tags of table rows so here are the trs so now what trs is equal to trs contains this tag this 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 is a list of trs including these all elements right so if i uh, technically if i go for trs of 0 let me just scroll trs of 0 it will be this one if i go for trs of 1 it will be this one trs of 2 trs of 3 trs of 4 so these are all the tables row table rows that are being uh, available in this trs as a list now what i am doing is i am just iterating over it so for the first iteration for tr in trs i will be getting this table row right for the next iteration i will be getting this for the next i will be getting this for this for this and so on and so forth so let's just hit on the couple of iterations so for the first iteration i will be getting this table row as i run through this statement that for tr in trs so it will provide me this table row perfect after getting in this table row what i am saying now this tr is right now referring to this table row then i am saying tr dot find i want you to find what i want you to find i want you to find a table data with the class title column so again it will look only into this table row as i mentioned that when you narrow down a soup it will only refer to that as i mentioned earlier that if i am if i narrow down to table body and then i go for a div it will not consider this div it will only consider the divs that are present inside this table body so now i am only referring to this table tr table row so it will only uh, access it will only provide me the table data from these table row elements so if i go for the table data and with the class title column it provide me this one let me just hide this okay inside this table row i am now right now inside this table row for the first iteration then if i go for simple td uh, for find td it will give me this one and if i go for find all tds it will give me all of these but the only thing i want right now i want this second one so the solution is i can go for the find tr dot find then i pass the name that i want the table data and then i can pass this i can specify the class that i want table data that has that particular class so up uh, next thing is after getting the table data what i am doing i am trying to extract the i am referring to this table data td over here and then because i mentioned here that i want to get this table data then this table data is this one and i am saying that td dot a which means i am referring to this anchor tag and then i am ref converting it into string for getting the text and then table data dot span dot string is responsible for table data this span inside this table data and this string and then table data is being ended so for this is the behavior for the first iteration same is follows for the next iteration for the next iteration the tr will be equal to this thing and after getting into this what i am saying i am saying that i want to find only that table data that is response that contains this class so it will only provide get me to this and after getting into this what i am doing i am saying td a dot string td span dot string to get this this anchor tags data and this man tag data after that it will go for the third table row for the fourth for the fifth and eventually it will scrap all the table rows and uh, it will provide me with the table movies uh, and their years so now if i again give it a go perfect so hopefully you get this through in this video uh, i told you about extracting movie names and movie years from the imdb table uh, from the imdb website and in the future videos we will try to extract some more information available on that page